This is a short tutorial for sharpeners on how to take apart the peacock shears. These appear to be just your standard UFO type of a screw, and, and it is. You take it out, it even comes with a tool. You take out the, um, the nut, you look at the internal clicker plate. Remember to always have the little knob or the little um, nipple or nose up when you're reassembling it. I'm going to take that out. But here comes the problem. It's like, uh-oh. You might have to force this out. And you're pushing. Let's find something to push it with. My thumbs aren't very strong. But use your pressure. Maybe this will work. Ah, did you see it go flying? And it flew off. Watch when you do this because you've got three pieces that can come out. And they'll go somewhere that you don't want them to be. Um, you've got the washer we've got to put back in there, and then these have separated. This just, this is not glued on, it's just snapped into that hole. So then to reassemble it, ignore this piece for right now. Put your washer back in. You can either put it in the hole or put it on the stem. And remember this is going on this side, even though it's a square peg and you think it goes in the square hole and it doesn't. Put these back together. Put your internal clicker plate. On some of these I've noticed they'll have another like a little bell washer, another washer in between that'll raise it up. Also I've noticed on some of these the internal clicker plate is a little bit different. They'll have a knob that goes up, a knob that goes down. Those are not designed to go in in a certain way. They're designed so you can put it in either way and they'll still work. Um, let me make sure. You see the little knob here? I want to make sure that is up. That's really key. So the nose or the nipple is up. It's helpful if you have tweezers, which I don't see tweezers here. But if you have tweezers to kind of get that into position because sometimes it's not sitting there. Okay, now you see how that went down over that, the square peg? Now I'm going to start this. And you finger tighten it first. Go back in and tighten it with your, your tool. Find which one fits best. That looks about right. Maybe a little bit looser. And this is the way I adjust them. Oh, that's too loose. That's the right adjustment. Now, what do you do with this? How do you put this back on? Watch and notice how this goes back on. The little, it's a, like a feather on a peacock. So the feather goes down. So it goes in here. And this is merely just pressed on. And it went on fine with just my thumb, but I might give it another press. Um, when you sell these shears, tell the stylist that the um, you have a lifetime warranty, but that's against like the bumper or the shear not holding up or whatever. The lifetime warranty does not cover the replacement of the decorative pieces or stones coming out. That's not included in the warranty. But tell them if this does come off for some reason, somehow they've hit it and they've, they've knocked it off, to save it that you can put it back on. I don't recommend trying to glue it because next time you have to take the shear apart, you, you've got a problem. But we haven't had any. The, the first um, batch of these peacocks, we had a few issues with this. This second, this is our second batch, and this new mechanism that they've had um, to attach this decorative piece seems to be working. So if you have any questions, contact Benika Shears. We do sell these shears, you know, retail and wholesale, and I think it's one of the prettiest shears we have. It's pretty, but it's not over-the-top blingy.